Street Fighter is one of the most iconic fighting styles of the last three decades. Yeah, three decades, I know. World. And for a game where the characters lean so heavily on real martial arts styles, it's only right that they get a spot on this show. However, for most of them, even though they canonically have one specific fighting style, many of them are able to incorporate other aspects of martial arts or other, you know, athletic abilities that make their whole fighting style and gameplay much better. So if you've ever wondered how to fight like one of the Street Fighter characters, sit down, buckle up, because we are getting into jury today. Who are you? That's none of your business, sweetie. Although, you can beat it out of me. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing avators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Fight Like a Superhero series here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, it's basically a series where I use my 20, 21 years of martial arts experience, not only to break down the fighting styles of your favorite characters from TV, games, anime, and comics, or really anything else you can think of, but also teach you part of it so you can go to your backyard or gym right now and train just like them. So if you like this content, make sure to subscribe so you can see even more of this series, but let's get into it. I promise I'll make this quick. It won't hurt a bit. Jury is a brutal thrill seeker from South Korea, deriving pleasure from inflicting pain on others with Taekwondo. For those that don't know, Taekwondo is a martial art that focuses on punching and kicking techniques specifically, most famous for having some of the best kicks in all of martial arts styles. Out of all martial arts styles. I can't talk, I'm sorry. It's like super late right now. Practitioners are able to do jumping, spinning, flipping, and pretty much any other type of kick that you could possibly think of. In fact, they are so good, they've been at the Olympics as a official sport since the year 2000 and has been consistently in the Olympics since, like it's every year or every Olympic year, you get it. Which is even better because for jury, we're gonna focus on the Olympic style Taekwondo specifically. It basically does nothing but kicks, landing some of the most crazy kicks to the head that you can ever witness. Doing all kinds of crazy maneuvers to put their foot in their opponent's face no matter what. Even the children that practice Taekwondo are able to do over a hundred kicks in a minute the children. So obviously it's gonna be where we have to start for jury. You're gonna to wanna to get a lot of training in your local Taekwondo school. We are also gonna spend a lot of time on our point fighting. Point fighters are able to use their speed to avoid getting hit because in that sport, only the first hit counts. So it's really important for you to move fast and get out of the way of incoming attacks or be able to block them very fast. This will help us simulate the Feng Shui engine that jury has in her eye. Because well, the last time I checked, that doesn't actually exist. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure one of you guys will let me down down in the comments. But until I get proven wrong, we're gonna do a lot of point fighting so we get accustomed to moving incredibly fast and seeing the little foreshadowing that people have, whether that's rearing back before a punch, leaning into a kick, or whatever it is that um, any fighter may have as far as tells go. So. Let's go kill something. We are also going to want to train our flexibility and balance. Jury is outstanding in both of these areas, able to do some crazy feats in part because of her flexibility and balance. So to get this perfect body control, there's nothing better than ballet to do it. I don't care what you say. Ballet is one of the most difficult sports in existence. Ballerinas aren't giving nearly enough credit for how athletic they truly are. In fact, some of the best football and basketball players train ballet to get better in their own sport. Like it can't be understated how incredibly difficult ballet is and the improvements that it would have on our bodies. And so we're absolutely gonna spend plenty of time training that. This flexibility that we gain will also help us in using our legs to block effectively because being able to protect your head with your legs requires some of the best flexibility in the world. So that's why we absolutely have to train with some of the most flexible athletes in the world. You're giving me quite a workout here. I admit it, I'm having fun. We are also going to learn gymnastics. Not only will that add to our flexibility and body control, but it will also aid us in our movement style. Jury is able to jump, flip, roll, and tumble all over the battlefields pretty seamlessly, like it's second nature for her. And yes, Taekwondo can give us some of that, but Jury is literally on the Olympic levels as far as gymnastics skill goes. So we are going to have to train with the Olympians to get there. Plus, the blend of Taekwondo and gymnastics is literally a match made in heaven. And finally, we have to learn how to use a motorcycle and 
get used to walking on concrete barefoot. And after that, you'll be kicking and taking names like Jury in no time. But of course, let's get started on our kicking journey by learning how to do two of her kicks right now. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out, links down in the description. All right guys, it's time to go through two different kicks in a combination for your- uh, 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 I think, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain, I think I got this. I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to today. Take it then. All right, so I'm going to be teaching you two kicks from Street Fighter, how to fight like your- I'm going to show you what the kicks are going to look like first, and then I'm gonna break them down. So, in total, they're going to look like this. Boom. So what you're gonna start with first is you're going to take your right leg, step over your left, and take it the other direction. Look over, make sure you spot your target, then take your left leg, bring up, hook, step down. That's your first kick. So step over, turn away, Look over, hook. After you set that down, you're going to step over once again with your right leg. Take your left leg, point your knee up, switch, kick. Giving you your tornado kick. So you're going to go from your hook kick, which is your step over, face the other direction, look over, spot your target, kick, set your foot down, step over with your right leg once again, Bring your left leg up, face your target, switch legs, round kick, giving you your tornado kick. So, once you have that down, you're going to speed it up and put them together. So a little bit faster with me. Step over, spot, kick. Step over, up, switch kick round. Now, all together, one more time. Make that a little faster. It should look something like this. That's that, like Huh. Guess they did do it better than me. <laughs> well, good job. Yo, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love doing this series and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And so if you want me to do a certain character or put one on my list, definitely let me know down in the comments. I know Naruto and another Ruby character, they're all on the list because of you guys. And so let me know, cause I promise I'm getting to it. Some of them take longer than others, but I promise it's on the list, I will get to it. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. And good night. Right leg. My right leg. Right leg, step over. Step over. Spot your target. Uh-huh. Bring your left leg up and hook kick. Uh-huh. Then you're going to step over with your right leg. Uh-huh. Bring your left leg up, point to your target. Uh-huh. Switch round kick. <clears throat> then we're going to make that fast. Oh, we're going to send it? We're going to send it. Oh, Ready? yeah. Burn. Look, I know you were trying to sound country, but why did you sound like Johnny Bravo instead? Do the monkey with me. <laughs> if you like this video, check out this one about Ahsoka Tano or this other one that you could think you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. And Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...